Hi everyone, this is Gail Vihar from MomandCamera.com and I'm here today to tell you just a little bit about Smart Collections. Smart Collections is one of those features that I just learned about when I was first learning about Lightroom but then I filed away because I didn't have any use for it at the time. And then at the beginning of this year in February I got to go attend a little um, class by Julianne Cost. And Julianne Cost, you might recognize her name, she pulls up on the Lightroom um, introduction screen, <laughs> her name's there. She does a lot of teaching for Adobe about Lightroom. Um, you can find her stuff at jcost.com and if you click on the Lightroom button um, it will take you to her Lightroom tutorials. She also does tutorials for Adobe TV which is tv.adobe.com and she talked about smart collections and because I had just barely finished creating a book, a family book and pulling all my photos and finding all my photos to go in that family book I instantly knew how I could have saved myself probably two days worth of time no joking, two days worth of time I could have saved um, had I used this feature in Lightroom so that was really eye-opening for me so a couple months later when I went to create another book for my family I used this smart collection feature and it it did it saved me a ton of time so here's how you create a smart collection basically a smart collection is something that says okay Lightroom please go out and find all the photos that I have rated with a three I are in this folder fall between this time frame you can do it however you want and you'll see that there are lots of options but it will pull all those photos into a folder or into a collection it's not duplicating them anywhere on your hard drive it's just pulling them in so over here on the collections panel just click on the plus and you're going to click on create smart collection and I've already, I just have done this tutorial a couple of times because I keep getting interrupted but I'm going to come up here and put 2011 family favorites and I'm just going to put it in the smart collection set and I want it to match all of the following criteria. I want it to have a rating that is greater or equal to three stars. Now that's how I rate my files but please know on here um, you can do it has a pick flag, it's got a certain color, it's got label text that you have put in. You can do this however you rate you can do this. So then I'm going to add another one. I'm not going to use rating this time. This time I'm going to use capture date and I'm going to set I want it to be in between a range because I'm going to set the range as the entire year for 2011. Maybe it was only half the year. Maybe you just want to pull in the photos from half the year. You can do that too. Um, that's what I did last time. I'm going to set this to be 0101 and even though I know we're not at the end of the year I'm going to set this side over here to be 1231 and it will just continue for the rest of the year as I rate photos to pull those into this smart collection and then the last thing that I want to do is I want to put or sort out them by folder because I put all of my family um, photos in a folder called Vihar Family. And then I'm just going to click Create and Lightroom is going to go out and it's going to find all the photos that I have rated at a three star rating that were between the capture dates of the beginning of this year and the end and it's also going to pull in everything from that Vihar Family um, folder and you can see it selected 2070 photos. Um, some of those I will go through and actually change the rating just a little bit because they're photos that maybe are not family related or that maybe are not going to go into my book. So I might change the rating down to maybe a two star. I still want them to have a rating because I still want to be able to sort but maybe they don't need to have the three star rating necessarily anymore. And then I can go ahead and select all of these and I just found out that Blurb now has a publish service where I can publish them directly to Blurb. So this saved me so much time. I hope that you can think of a reason why you might need to create a smart collection because um, it's a huge time savings if you if you can. So anyway, thank you. It was nice to be with you. Um, if you have any questions you can visit me at momandcamera.com or post your questions here in the comments. Thank you.